Hello and welcome back, everyone. Hi, Plagan again. So, last time we had played Alton, Illinois. Fallout 3 mod, and I said that I was going to install a sprint mod, which I did. And uh, it's literally just called sprint mod. Very simple. Uh, basically, you install it with whatever mod manager you use. And then you can change some settings in it, which I've already done. And uh, you need to use the command prompt to change the actual speed that you want the uh, sprint to be. I think it defaults to like 1.1 times your normal run speed. So I changed it to 10 times the normal run speed because it's, it's still not all that fast. And uh, it takes AP to use, like uh, in the, the later Fallout series. Anyway, I had also looked up to see exactly how long the game was, or the mod was, I should say. And uh, from what I could tell, there was like one channel I could find that had like a playthrough of it, which was like 15 or 16 uh, videos long, 20 minutes each, which would take us to... Um, around 320 minutes or five hours. However, I believe they did all the like, side quests and stuff too. So I was like, eh, I don't really care about side quests. So anyway, we'll be doing the main story again here. Let me just launch the game. So hopefully with this sprint mod, it will let us get from point A to point B quicker, and we'll have less of that downtime where it ends up just being, uh, standing around doing nothing. Now, as you can see, I have my AP regenerating because I was testing it out, but this is the run speed. That's, uh, that's 10 times the normal speed. I was going to go with 5, but that also seemed a little bit slow. So. Is whatever. So what was our objective again? We needed to... Enter the Abandoned Brotherhood Bunker. Okay. That outside here, I think it was. Here, huh? Thank God for quest markers. There we go. Alright, this door over here. Here and flip the switch. We'll just toggle control or toggle collision to get through it faster. No point sitting behind a door all day, you know. And we're out. And also, we don't have to hear the, the screeching of the there. So let's see, we are going over there, huh? Fast travel Alton Ranch, this is closer. I actually forgot why we were going to Brotherhood Bunker. Hey. Was it, uh, right, C4. We needed C4, that's right. Well, yeah, the sprinting is going to come in handy. Look at that. Now I kind of wish I had higher agility, so I've actually fully maximized the uh, ability of it. Anyway, we'll just jump over here. And we'll jump over here. It's a jump. Nope. Okay. We'll go over here then, up the nice gradual slope. Oh, look, it's Brotherhood of Steel Flag. Oh, lovely. Am I supposed to go in this way? Oh, that's a death clock. Well. Good thing it can't get me up here. I'll just uh, shoot it from above. If I can get a good angle on it. Go right about here. Work. And... Dead. 
All right. Put a fissure right there. All right. Let's continue around this way. That's the entrance I'm going through, huh? Okay. I'm pretty sure there's more death claws back that way, but I don't want to deal with that right now. I don't have to. Death claw have anything good? Just death claw hands, as usual. All right. Okay, the stashed explosives. Ow. Man, the roar inside this cave is just reverberating hell. Good God. All right. I'm gonna turn off the light. Hopefully, I can get a critical hit on one of the uh, next death claws and don't have to deal with nonsense. What is this? Just a glitched out skeleton? Okay. Oh, there's Dead Brotherhood here, huh? It's a shame that I cannot wear power armor. That's caution. I think I still have element surprise, right? I did, though. Yeah, that's right, you run away. Let's just reload real quick. Going around. Hi. Ah. Come on now. His friend's coming too. All right. Well, let's heal up real quick. Thanks for the follow, Oxy. Oh my. All right. Now come out wherever you are. Yeah. There he is. Thank God for doors. Oh, and another one. Oh, oh god, that's two. Hold up. Let me... I got enough ammo for this, right? Yeah, okay. Die. Or don't. Oh my god. That's like a second from death right there. Reload before we encounter that last one. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. If the game would have just like hesitated for a moment longer before giving me the uh, the menu, that hit would have registered. It's been disabled until the bunker has been purged. Of course, it has. Right then, <clears throat> back to the weapons. This back out. Oh, I only got ten bullets for it. Never mind. Uh, how about what else? Hmm. So we use the Chinese assault rifle. For... Nope. Never mind. <laughs> also has the same amount of ammunition. With a shotgun, maybe I can get a stealth hit on one of them. Oh, hello there. Weapon log. Project Mutilator. New Project Mutilator aims to increase the rate of fire and shell velocity while increasing the spread of... not increasing the spread of bullets. Main issue is overheating issues, and we've had more than one shell explode in the barrel. Got a whole team working on night and day in progress. Okay. Success. Now this is something to watch. We've successfully increased the rate of fire and velocity of the shells without overheating the weapon. Log the project mutilators success and request it for general paladin use. Cool. Does that mean I find a new gun somewhere? 
Also, why do they have death claws in the, uh... Oh, boy. Well, that does not look very safe. Hmm. About this door. That's a dead death claw. Those grenades. Okay, those grenades. It's just going. Give another couple seconds here. I'll uh, I'll explode it out. Are you? Okay. Well. And there was no real benefit of uh in here, unless the death claw had something on its body. Empty. All right. Light goes off. Creep down the hall. Let's explore this way first. The other way was a bit spooky. Like we got nothing here. Dead wastelander, huh? Okay. Anything hidden among the rubble? Looks like it. Back we go. Colas. I'll actually drink those real quick to get my health back up. Suffering from radiation poison. Of course I am. Go. Switch it back to the skin packs. There we go. And Oop, okay. Hmm, good thing I took the rat away there, huh? Mr. Deathclaw. Obviously a future of some soul. What's gonna happen? Oh, did it just kill all the Deathclaws? I mean, if it did, that works for me. Well, can I be activated at this time? Okay. Radiation still happens, though. That's unfortunate. Door's inaccessible. Okay. Well then, I guess we'll just return back to the one door we couldn't enter before. Why would they mention this gun or their rate of fire experiment if there's no way to get it here? Maybe it's in the uh, the storage room we couldn't access before. Okay. Oh, this does not look good. Oh, I don't like this. Can't move. Radiation level decreased. Oh, thanks. This side first, and nothing. All right. Just a rounded room with the thing going up to our brotherhood bunker key. Welcome in here. Yes. All right. Let's see. Miscellaneous. All right. Yeah, they have it under data here, don't they? Note. Graves. Shit. Experiment went wrong. Obeying orders and abandoned the bunker. I suggest to the colonel that we destroy the place with the stash of C4 left over from the quarry. He refused, saying that it wasn't in the orders. So we're just leaving nothing but armor and weapons. Don't know where we'll go. Can't stay here. Maybe north of Chicago. And then Davis, I don't know. Okay. I got the key to go out. Other areas. Still need to find that C4. Just cleaning supplies. Impact. Help me punch my stock a bit. Always take free ammo. <laughs> All right, let's. What's this crate? Okay, I'm just gonna pick up that whole crate, I guess. I believe. Alright, 
So now I leave out the ladder, I suppose. Hmm, still no gun. Well. Can I fast travel those enemies nearby? Oh. See that guy over there. We go over here. Out of range of my pip boy, I should be able to uh, teleport. Uh, fast travel. Yeah. All right, back into the vault. Right, right over here. Go around this way, up here. Uh, such a pain to get to the overseer's office, man. Here and then over here. Hello there. You've returned. That means we could finally remove the final barrier standing between us and our underground railroad. It will, however, take some time to rid of the explosives. Give us a week. Use your time however you please. Explore all, drink, or whatever. Oh, and here's a reward for retrieving the explosives. It was a shotgun that I won a few months ago, taken from the body of a raider gang boss. The abandoned brother to steel bunker lay before you, full of death claw and radiation, and you finished the carved path of destruction through the bunker to your final destination. Realist attitude has gained you plus 10% radiation resistance and plus 25% damage against death claws. I'll probably never need again in this mod, will I? Okay, so, uh... My quest now? Wait two days for the explosives to be prepared. Did he say a week? Hmm. Also, why bother putting like a time limit on things like, oh, come back in a day or come back in like two days or whatever? Like, people know that you're just gonna, you know, wait the entire time. You're not gonna actually go back and do whatever. Some people might if they're, you know, RPing. Not being like, yeah, I'm just gonna stand around. But for long mistakes, God, I wish this was faster. Mm -hmm. I do not miss this. I think uh, well, 76 doesn't have a wait function, but uh, four I think is like really quick, right? They really make it feel like, yep, hours are going by, a little bit surely. Slowly but surely. Okay. Two days, right? Just one more hour, maybe. No? Nothing? Do I gotta leave the vault and come back in? Is that what we're doing? Hmm. You, sir. Hey there. Nope, he doesn't have anything for me. Okay, let's try uh, one more. Cannot wait in the air. Oh, I must have been jumping or something. Try waiting until the next morning. Maybe then we will. Does it want me to do something specifically? Hmm. The actual audio did say wait a week, and he said two days, though, or the quest says two days. I don't know if I should just wait like another five days. Mm. Let's try it. Da -da 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 I wish I could just drag it back down to make it go faster. Oh, 
I got a quest marker now. Hey, there we go. I guess I had to wait three days. Maybe the day that I waited to begin with, since it wasn't like a full day, or since it was like morning, it didn't really count, I guess. I don't know. Weird excuse or something. I wonder, can I? It's like, hold up. I can like just jump up here and then jump up. No? Okay. Crash cam first and then up here. Oh, okay. We're next over here. Oh, can I jump that? I cannot. I didn't want to go all the way around. Whatever. I'll do it. Only a couple of minutes in. I was standing straight up. Didn't realize that. Wait, is this not where I'm going now? God damn it. Where am I going? I was so used to going to the overseer's office. It was just like, ah, oh, yes. I'll go right there. Not the classroom, obviously. Going to the lab, I guess. The undercroft, they called it. Then that way. Go this way. Uh, here, I guess. Okay. There. Camel box is still empty. Can I just jump? Oh! Ow. I didn't take any damage. That's nice. Alright, let's go. Hello. Read. Ed. This. A remote detonator. Let's talk to him first. The time has come. Are you ready? Let's do this. Excellent. We'll follow your reading, Alton of the Unworthy. You, my friend, shall have the honor of pressing the button. When we blast through, we should be safe until we get into the railroad. After that, take no prisoners. Shoot on sight. Got a boss. Ah, hello. All right. Boop. Ow. My eyes. Let's see. Hmm. I'm using a shotgun right now. I think that's 80. We'll just upgrade that. Hmm. Maybe a pair of ones, why not? Let's see. Anything new? Adamantium skeleton. Not that my limbs get damaged too much here. Uh, let's see. We got Lobringer, which dual character, don't care. Contra killer. Eh, don't care. Chemist. Matter, I don't take chems. What was finesse? Our chance to get a crit. Double into five points of luck. Just with big guns. Gain additional big gun. Or two, there's no one for small guns. That'd be useful to have. Already have maxed out speech. Hmm. There's a point where skill books read. That's helpful because I don't read skill books. Intensive training. Gain a single point in any of your specials. Oh, you can pull. Eh. Powers be damned. The only direction we run is towards the enemy. With this perk, you can keep your weapon out while sprinting. Oh, that's for the sprinting mod? Or I'll grab that. I don't care. Right, let's go! You know. I just want to point out here on the world map. So we're in Vault 70 or uh, 57, and the place we're going is up here, the Underground Railroad. Um, so we're quite a distance away, and yet it, it seems like the area connecting them is only a couple, like maybe a mile or a yard apart or something, you know? We're already in their, like, bunker area. Kind of funny. Oh my god, it's so satisfying not having the uh, animation where you put away your gun while sprinting now. We're on ahead at the area. The door is on the Get 
them boys. Bring it, they say. Got ammo on you? Yeah, you do. Thank you. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Real good critical. Rock and roll. And sprinting out with a combat shotgun just feels like I'm doing guy right now. Guys, you're in the way. Hey. Okay, right. Settlers down. Martha Mags. Ooh. I love the combat shotgun. Oh, jeez. just confusing to me. Reed Smith's unconscious. How dare they. I wish they would focus me. It'd be easier to uh, kill the enemy, at least. <laughs> They're all just trying to kill the other guys. Hit them when they're all moving around. A resistance fighter. Why is there a resistance fighter here? Okay. Accessible and accessible. Enter his tent. Well, I would if it wasn't inaccessible. We gotta wait for something, or we gotta talk to you. Hello, newcomer. Uh, oh, what? That's hold on. Why is the quest marker back? God damn it! This is not the tunnel to go. It says to enter his tent. And yet, the marker is back this way. But why? Area is clear. Maybe there's someone else who's kind of roaming around back here? What? The game glitched. Oh, that was 28 of my armor again? I forgot. My armor is 14. I will take the recon armor, thank you. I think barrel recon armor. I'll drop that. Uh, what drops again? Right click. Okay, well. Ah. Huh. Uh. I gotta go into the tent, but inaccessible. Hmm. Interesting. That's what the quest said to do: is go into his tent, right? Yeah. What if I unlock? Um. I make it accessible? No. Uh, what if I can delete it? No. Ah. Well. Let me save. And I will try to reload, see if that does anything. Nope. It just says 
Possible. No other way to enter this. Okay. Try loading an autosave from further back, right? Yeah. Is, uh, fight your way through the railroad. Okay. We're back here before the fight. Maybe a sequence broke somewhere or something like that. I, I don't know. I didn't think I did, but who knows? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Just kind of follow my, my teammates. Kill the enemies as they kill them. Stop running so I can shit you. Are you gonna play it, huh? Oh. Ah. Go. Ghost ridden. Moving on. Maybe because I like sprinted ahead of them at one point. Come on, Steven. I need you to not be stuck on the wall. Here you go. Help me. That one. Stop running. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, dude? Gory mess is insane. I feel like I'm getting way too many criticals. By the way, teammates, please! Oh, headshots are a great way to get criticals, though, so, you know, that works. Wait, 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 not, not moving. For them to go first. Marker still pointed on him, so that's good. Oh boy. Oh. Got her. All right. And now it says to enter his tent. Okay. So yeah, I guess something happened to Steven and he was like, wait for me to enter his tent or something. Hello, Hardrick. You bastard. You have looted what little Alton had left. And for what? Nothing. You and your people abandoned us when we most needed help. You were all insane. Why would we let people like you out of a vault? We were only driven to insanity after our 200 years of confinement. You never belonged in our town, Stephen. You and your kind will never replace what you have destroyed today. Is that so? Unfortunately, you won't get to see how that turns out. I have nothing left because of you. Nothing. Looks like he's holding a gun. Isn't it? The elf in that last voice line didn't go. Finally over. Alton is ours. Newcomer, you were instrumental in the fall of the Underground Railroad. Unlike these savages that we slew today, you heard our story and came to our assistance. And because of you, I finally can have some closure over the death of my parents. Indeed, what happened today shall go down in history. But now our attention turns to you. From what I hear, Robert Johnson of Godfrey has arrived for you. Godfrey was the only town to help us then. So hopefully, Robert will help you now. And if he doesn't, then you're gonna burn him, right? Well, then let's go. Off to New Godfrey, then. But I want this gun. Hold on. Criminal password, that. 
do anything here? Let's see. Double force field, there we go. Oh, 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 the mutilator! Hey! That was what I thought it was. Okay, cool. So he, for some reason, went to the. Uh, Uh, got the Brotherhood bunker and took the mutilator for some reason? Oh, that's nice. Okay. The raider. Oh. I should have been using this. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm still overweight, so let's look and see what I can drop. I'll drink that and that. Actually, I actually don't have much else, huh? Yeah, nothing else really weighs anything. I'm gonna have to choose some guns to drop. Uh, I don't need the plasma pistol. The rocket launchers never really helped me. I don't need three mini guns. Actually, I have this one to repair the other one with in case I need. But get rid of that. Get rid of that. What was the rifleman's lament? There it is. Oh. oh man, it looked so cool when it was like an item in the world, but now it looks like a normal minigun. That's unfortunate. I thought for a second I was going to get something cool looking, but... Ah. Alright. Now we go to Godfrey, right? Need up a new Godfrey. The exit was over here. Ah. Wait. Am I going to have to go back the way I came for some reason? Really? I couldn't just leave that entrance open? Why was that entrance even blocked? Go through here. Then I've got to go here. And then all the way back through this tunnel, back through Vault 57, and then we get up to the wasteland. Man. I guess because I'm following him. I guess that's the reason. Well, that's just unfortunate. Come on, Steven, get over the rubble. Let's go. He said he'd meet me there, not that I was needing to follow him there, right? Taking my head. Well, Steven, use those legs of yours. Let's go. Come on. Oh my god, this is such a long trip for no reason. I suppose he's gonna go to the overseer. Nope, he's, he's going out to the vault. Oh my god. Sir. You mad lad. Doors open. Oh, thank God. I did not want to have to listen to the opening of it and wait for it to go so we could get through. Okay. So, just to recap this, we went from here all the way up to here, finished up in here. And then left all the way back down to here, get out to the wasteland, and New Godfrey's over here. Oh my god. Okay. Well, 
Do I gotta escort him or can I just like wait? What if, what if I do wait? Like let's wait, let's wait an hour. Will his target be moving across? It will be. Awesome. I'm gonna travel to New Godfrey. He's already inside. Excellent. So literally, they could have just opened up that one place for me. I wouldn't have had to deal with it. Stephen, what brings you here? Oh, and the newcomer too. This is a surprise. So, newcomer, what new? Wait, what happened? They're just gone. Well, it was either one or the other, I suppose. And it's certainly a relief to have it taken care of. Now that the situation has finally bubbled over, we can finally get to the matter at hand, getting you home. I have a truck, and as far as I know, it's the only one of its kind. It's in a garage just south of here. Let's head out. Okay. So, all three of us, for some reason, are going to go to the garage? Where's it at? Why is it so far away? Why would your why would your only truck be so far away and in an undefended location, my dude? I bet it's gonna be like scrapped for parts when I get there, ain't it? There's gonna be nothing there. I'm gonna have to like do a bunch of different side jobs to get the parts for it, right? How it's gonna be. Well. Oh my god, I hate that effect so much. I forgot Nuka Cola had rugged related effects like that. This is the garage. It looks more like a uh, radio tower thingy. There's not even a garage door here. Sir, how do you expect to get the car out? Like, I guess the car is coming through this door? There's no other garage doors around, sir. Unless it has like a hidden entrance. They're going that way for a bit. Oh. Hey. Why? Oh, I see. Uh, what? Cool girl there. What else are we going to find down here? A bathroom with actually pristine looking stuff, huh? Okay. Well. Was this his bunker or or what? Okay, I see a garage, but where's the exit? What? How is there a door here? Where does it lead? Y'all, hold up. I have a key to this, right? What? Okay. I guess. That's fair, that's fair. Okay. Motorcycle handbrake. What else we got? Toolboxes. Gun cabinet. 5mm. Isn't about the pistol, one of the rounds. Alright. Quick save. Am I talking to one of you, or...? Here she is. I found her in pristine condition down here a few years ago. The place was pretty well sealed up. No idea who built the place, but that doesn't matter right now. What does is getting this thing up and running. Huh. What we need is a new fuel cell controller. As far as I can tell, that's the only thing holding her back. Where can I find one? Try the neighborhood just south of the Hop Follow Farm. There's more than one house still standing down there, so that sounds like the best bet. 
Why? What? If you what? can find one, it's likely going to be in a garage. They were a pretty common but expensive car part back in the day. Okay. Hey, I guess I'll be back. Good luck. And Steven, why are you here? Hello, newcomer. Why are you even here, though, sir? Also, the tire does not look like it's on correctly, right? Other than that, yeah, it does seem like a pretty pristine vehicle. Except for the mis misaligned tires. All right. Map. Oh, lovely. Really far south. Let's go. Well, that's just rude. One. What? Oh, the bar turned to green for a second. It was a dog. Hey, pupper. How are you doing? Yeah, thank God I have animal friend. I would have had to kill the dog, wouldn't I have? Wouldn't I have? Yeah, you were a good boy. Okay. Moving right along. More shotgun shells. Nice. All right. Well, you want our merry way? Why is the sky so bright over here? Oh my god. Farmhouse. Oh, red marker. What? Is, what is oh. this? Ow! 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 Is the corn shooting me? What the? Frick? Excuse you, sir. Throw a grenade at me. What is? Was that a blood bag texture? What? What? How do you even mess up texturing this badly? That's like... I can't even tell what that is. Like a wall? And there's a blood bag. And then there's... A Nuka Cola bottle? Then we got... What I'm assuming is supposed to be the wheat or corn. Is that a... Is that a bear skin? And then we got... Oh, I can't even make hell of that is. Just circle? Is that a plate? It's a plate, right? And we got a desert grass, I guess. And then we have just actual blood splatter for whatever reason, which is just horrible to look at. Oh my golly. More blood. Uh, hair? Just, just straight up hair. Okay, well. Oh my god, I go go. Why would you do this? Why why would the modder think this was a good idea? Like what what what? I think there was a road there for a second. God, it's evil. I want out. That, that's just concrete pillars. Oh my god. Okay, let's just ignore the farm of weirdness. How do you even do this? Is, is that a dresser texture? Oh my god. Okay. Like it'd, be, it'd be one thing if it was just like the corn that did that, but it's it's the outfit too. That I'm wearing. I was not doing it now, but all just black now, I guess, huh? Searching this car. What does he mean? This is a mostly intact neighborhood. So it just points me here, but this thing I'm looking for could be anywhere here. Is that what I'm supposed to interpret with the fact that this 
quest marker is just here and there's nothing actually here here okay i guess i'm going to find a house that has a garage door i would assume which this one does can i get in the garage itself not from here the hooch residence huh I would have specified this was a residence of someone specific. They're not here. Had an infiltrator though. Are they spies? Elijah's terminal. Basement key. What is going on? This. Mysterious. What? What? What did that do? What? Something like did something. All right, terminal. Word. Nope. So it's not work. Not warm. It's not wars or wave or weak. Got to be Packer talk. There we go. Okay. World log. Generate what? Huh? Generate terrain meshes. What, what does that do? Error log. Okay. Ever? Heading to Austin. Read John. We just got in a spot in the Austin vault and we'll be there as soon as possible, Barbara. Like Austin, Texas? Is there an Austin, Illinois? I don't know my normal cities. Eh, whatever. Why does it say Elijah's terminal? What clicked? Activate the mysterious book again. This is a weird like layout for a house. Oh, cool! An empty, locked cabinet. That's that's superb. I love it. Oh, well, there's nothing up here. What did that book do though? Hmm. Wait a second. Wall ends here, but oh, there's a little bit further down that way. This whole wall, there's nothing behind here. But the house doesn't look like that outside. Also, this wall is the end. Oh, there's more that extends over here and way back there. This house does not look like the outside at all. It's, it's much bigger than inside and outside, huh? Well, anyway. What? Door to the Hooch resident. Why is that here? What? That's just a back door. Okay, well, I think I'm just gonna go to the garage. doing grabbing that I guess after okay but I accessible look do Okay, so I use the book. Can I go in here now? No. I'm so confused what the book does. 
Does it do nothing? Does it like unlock something? Is that what it did or get it? I mean, mysterious indeed, because that's a real head scratcher, huh? So I'm just gonna leave. Yep, nothing here. Okay. Bye. It's just the sound of like a door opening too. What the hell? Well. <clears throat> no sense questioning, isn't it? Are you kidding? The garage isn't even marked on the map, so I can't fast travel there. y'all. Peace. How rude. All right. That's that. The garage entrance is down there. Knock, knock. I'm coming in. Robert, I got the thing. Great! You found one. Give me a couple of hours and she should be up and running. Now, let's see. Oh, we're actually doing a pause thing? Well, the hubcaps changed color, I think. Nope, they did not. They, just, they were shadowed. Oh. Where did he go? Even you good? There we Robert. go. She's ready. There should be a roadmap under the driver's seat. Should help quite a bit. Thanks for all you've done, newcomer. You've certainly changed Alton. Whether it be for the better or worse. Either way, you'll certainly be remembered. Okay. So, this is it. It's time for you to finally head home. Goodbye, newcomer. Come back and visit us sometime. Vault 59 will welcome you with open arms. And so it was that the newcomer drove off into the distance, back to the east coast, back home. The newcomer came to Alton unexpectedly, thanks to the old world technology that had apparently not stood the test of time, but left him yet another old world relic, leaving a mark on Alton that would be remembered for generations. With the Underground Railroad defeated, the newcomer would be remembered as a savior to some, but to most was a cold, heartless murderer. The members of Vault 59 eventually lost the title of the plague, although some were still known to resort to acts of violence. Stephen remained in control of Vault 59 for years to come, and his city became one of the major trading hubs in Alton. Many residents of New Godfrey remained there, trying to cover up bad memories of the night the mutants invaded. But while it would take several years for it to be fully repaired and repopulated, the town of Old Godfrey later became the trading hub it once was. Word would later reach the newcomer that the Brotherhood of Steel Battalion that they had originally set out to save had been wiped out. The outposts at the airport would remain deserted for years to come, an empty shell of what had begun this unexpected journey. It has yet to be seen whether or not the newcomer would return, but one thing is certain. The story of the small riverside town of Alton certainly wasn't over. Now why the house's name was Oak or whatever? What was with the book? Anyway, can I uh, skip through this at all, or? I guess not. I guess we're gonna sit here. So we have three voice actors. Oh, there was more than, okay. Maybe they just didn't show them all on the same screen. 
going through it. It wasn't just one guy who made it, it was like a bunch of different people who were all went on to do it. Okay. Congratulations, you completed Alton Illinois' main quest. You uh, you have experienced the culmination of two and a half years of long difficult two and a half years of long difficult years. Uh, a little redundant to say that. Uh, maybe change years to work in the second one. Nevertheless, the building building this modification has been one of the most rewarding, entertaining, and most challenging experiences of my life. You're free to travel back and forth between Alton and DC anytime you wish using this truck. I'm sure you haven't completed, discovered, or explored everything in Alton. So get to it. Really hope you enjoyed playing through the game and again thank you to everybody for time support and patience during the long completion elijah hoke okay new quests available oh i guess i want to uh so where am i right now what i'm just all the way in the boonies Nowhere near, like, anything, huh? I guess it makes sense if you, if you gotta, you know, add something that, uh, won't get in the way of other things. Just put it somewhere that there's, like, nothing there, huh? Okay. What is that? The Myrler. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. I'm just gonna go back to the truck. Here. Get the game. All right. Well... I suppose that was uh, Alton, Illinois. I'm gonna go ahead and quit out. I'm just gonna switch back over to this so I can share my thoughts on the mod. Now, I haven't actually completed all the side quests and stuff. I did the main story and I don't think I really wanna do the side quests, to be honest. I'm sure there are some gems there, but all in all, it didn't feel that well put together, in my opinion. I mean, that, that one voice actor, whoever that was who did the, uh, the, the plague people's like, main guy, his mic quality was not great. And they probably should have told him no. Or like had him get a better mic before he recorded them. Because it was all like crackly and quiet. And even like the, the final voiceover for the narration was also really quiet compared to the music, so I had a hard time actually understanding what they were saying at the end there. And you think, like, the people who tested, I think it's the beta testers in the, the credits, right? I think they would have been like, hey, maybe uh, adjust down the volume in the credits and, uh, or in, in the, the wrapping up thing and, you know, higher up your voice or something. You know, do a little bit of audio balance in there. Not only that, but there was, like, textures and stuff that was just all kinds of weird um, from the... Uh, cornfield we saw this time around where it was just kind of crazy and weird to the plague outfits that would like glitch all the time and I feel like I don't know it, there was not anything that said like hey you should you know get these specific um, mods in order to do that I mean there's a couple of like recommended things and this is, I don't even know what this mod does. There's a clifftop shack, which adds a location in Alton. There's one mod that does not work, another mod that does not work, another mod that the link doesn't work for. Uh, there's a mod that says mods for Alton, and this is mods, uh, just mods I make for Alton. That's, that's all that this mod was. And then there's this one that says Alton revoicing project which I guess is uh, them revoicing some of the stuff, specifically the main uh, guy of the plague, probably, is what they ended up doing, so it wasn't as you know, scratchy and voicey. Um, 
But yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, I don't, I don't know why there was weird texture issues, things that were happening, but I just downloaded the mod. I didn't have any other mods that would have conflicted with textures. Everything I had was just the unofficial patch and stuff that I mentioned uh, first time when we started playing and whatnot. Um, but yeah, kind of weird. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. The story wasn't too well put together, didn't feel like. Um, there's like the, 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 the Godfrey faction where it was like they got run out by super mutants and then they were the ones who happened to find the Vault 59 dwellers. They let them out and they were like, oh yeah, this other group totally could have you know, heard you uh, and let you out earlier. And then the excuse that the, the Underground Railroad faction that they gave at the end there about, why would we let you idiots out? Even though like the broadcast had been going on for like decades. So there was like, it's not like they fell into chaos um, like they did at the end. And when they finally got out, they decided to kill everyone. Like if they would have been freed like decades ago, None of this would have happened, you know, if uh, the people of the Underground Railroad would have been like, oh, we should let out the vault dwellers and, uh, you know, welcome them into you know, Wasteland and stuff like that. Um, it definitely would have taken a different turn and they would not have been killed. That's my, my thoughts on that. Also, it was weird that there was Death Claws in the Brotherhood bunker and the weapon that the Brotherhood made was for some reason in... The Underground Railroad guy's tent, that doesn't make sense. Unless he snuck in there, stole the, the gun, and then put it there. I mean, that doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, but yeah. And then in terms of just like wandering the wasteland, uh, the, the major problem in Alton with just wandering around was that nothing was there. The only time that I would encounter something is when it was next to a location. And that's just the normal, like, people who would normally be there, right? Because, um, like, the raiders would be defending, like, a raider camp, or super mutants would be around a super mutant camp, right? That kind of stuff. Um, or the railroad people would be around a railroad area, you know? It's not like there was, you know, monsters or animals wandering around randomly in the wasteland like uh, there is normally in Fallout. You walk for a while, and then eventually you come across, say, mole rats who want to attack you. And sure, I saw, like, one mole rat. And what else did I see? I saw a Yaogui, too. I saw two animals. Aside from that dog at the last bit, but that was a raider dog. That's different. I saw two wild animals, I think, this entire playthrough. And it feels like that should have been more. Because the game, just, it, it, the mod just felt empty. There was, like, nothing there, you know? They just didn't really have life to it. It actually felt like I was walking in a wasteland because like, I wouldn't see anything for like minutes, you know, for like for a while until I actually got to a place. And then it was like, oh, yeah, we're here now. But yeah, I don't know. I do like that they like made a plague named faction. That, that's cool. I like that. I like that they had plague doctor masks. That's cool. Um, how they got those masks or like decided to make those masks and other like thing. It's, it's whatever. Uh, I just like that they existed. So that was cool. Um, and the armor was actually pretty decent too. It was the best thing I found until that recon armor at the end there. So that was nice. But yeah, all in all, not that great of a mod, to be completely honest. It uh, lacked a lot, I feel. It, it lacked in voice acting department for that one character and, and that definitely should have been like quality control they should have been like hey you'd either get another mic or someone else can do your lines for you come on uh, let's be honest uh, but yeah yeah and I think the main story since I started it in the first session which we did for like 
two hours and 20 minutes, I think. And then this session was like an hour. It's only like three hours long for the whole main story. And I didn't really do any, I don't think I did any side quest stuff during this. I might've like explored one or two locations and actually like, I think 30 minutes of the first video would have been me going to actually find the location in Fallout 3's world, going across DC to get to the uh, area to take you to Alton in the first place. So yeah, kind of short, but it is just like a little, you know, handful of people doing a mod, you know. Uh, but yeah, just kind of weird stuff. Didn't really make me enthralled to play it, which is why I don't want to do any of the side quests because it's just, eh, you know, it wasn't all that good, you know. So yeah, but I believe next time. I'm gonna I'm gonna uninstall Alton, and then I'm gonna go and install the other Fallout Three mod that I have, full conversion one, which is called Fallout Zero, which uh, takes place uh, two months after the outbreak of the Great War. So it's a it's a total conversion mod, which is there's there's no like I don't think you start in the Fallout Three world. It starts you off in like a, a parallel world, a different world, right? It's like a whole different game. Um, yeah, it's got its own world is what they say. And and from looking at the map of it, um, I think it takes place in like the LA area because the map has Universal City, Hollywood. It's got uh, Glendale, Chinatown, because uh, they have like a metro map uh, of what it looks like. Uh, at least. So that's what I'll be playing next once I get the mods all running and stuff. And uh, hopefully that'll be a better experience. Hopefully they at least have proper voice acting for all the characters that uh, they decide to put voices on. Um, stuff like that. Also, with, with Alton, like sometimes the voice just would not say the line or like the uh, the conversation between the, the plague guy, Steven, and uh, the hat trick guy. Uh, where their subtitles did not match up to what they were saying. That was kind of weird as well. Yeah. Odd. But anyway, that'll be all for this uh, time, guys. Thank you all for watching and listening. If you're here on Twitch, you can go to my YouTube and you know, subscribe there. Uh, I have the first session of the Alton, Illinois mod already uploaded there, so you can watch it. It's two hours long. It's just odd there. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go follow me on Twitch. The links are in the descriptions and all that, so stuff out. But anyway, that'll be all for me today, everyone. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>